Hey guys, it's Cameron with Gone Catcher Guide Service at Addicted Fishing. And in this tutorial, we're talking about Procure Fuse Egg Cure. Now, Fuse Egg Cure has only been on the market about a year, but I've been trying it and testing it and using it in the fisheries that I participate in for Coho and Chinook. And it has been absolutely great. So I'm super excited to bring you guys this tutorial. All right guys, so I got a fresh Coho today and I immediately bled the fish and put it on ice when I caught it. Now I brought it home, gutted the fish and took out the skeins whole and I've got them sitting here on the paper towel so I can wipe them down and remove any blood vein that could be left over in the skein. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skein and I'm gonna butterfly the open side with a pair of scissors. And what this does is it opens the skein up and allows the cure to penetrate in there to all the eggs. Now I've got it butterflied open. I'm just gonna cut it into large chunks that I'm gonna cure in a minute. Okay guys, the process of curing eggs with the Fuse Cure is very similar to like the Red Hot Double Stuff, which is also made by Procure. However, the one thing about Fuse is that this will cure about 12 pounds of eggs, whereas a, a container of the Red Hot Double Stuff will cure about 22 pounds of eggs. So basically what that means is when I sprinkle this onto my eggs, I'm gonna use a little bit more of the product versus using like a red hot double stuff if you're familiar with using that. Now that I've got a mix, I'm gonna add them to a container and I'll put them in the fridge for about two days. And what's gonna happen is the eggs are gonna juice and reabsorb and juice and reabsorb. Not as much as the red hot double stuff, but they're still gonna juice out and what that is is that that's, it's the cure soaking into the eggs. It's the process that needs to happen. Once that gets done, I'm gonna take the eggs out I'm gonna strain off any excess juices and I'm gonna dry them to my desired egg, whether I want a hover or a bobber fishing egg, which I prefer a wetter egg with, or a side drifting or a hover fishing egg, which what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those eggs, dry them out, get them more tacky, and then I'll put them back into my container and freeze them for later use. All right guys, while those are curing up, I do wanna say one thing, and that's I do not show up to the river with one egg cure. These salmon fisheries in the Pacific Northwest can be really competitive and having one egg cure, if you show up and those, egg, those fish don't want those eggs that day, you're gonna be out of luck. Adding fuse to your arsenal has saved me on a bunch of days out there fishing. It's got some different chemicals and some different stuff going on in it that's gonna entice more strikes. If you guys like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Addicted Fishing. We'll see you guys on the water.